12. John chapter 12, verse 23 to 26. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come, and the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruits. He that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that eateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servants be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Praise God. Jesus lay emphasis on service before honor. Service and following, service and honor. If anyone serves me, let him follow me. If anyone serves me, my father will honor him. May God honor us. As we serve God faithfully, may we receive the reward of service. Amen. So our word of God today is death, the secret of multiplication. We have started in last session, servanthood lifestyle. So condition of servanthood lifestyle, death, the secrets of multiplication. John 12, 23 to 26. Now, in that verse 23 again, Jesus answered them, the hour is coming when the Son of Man should be glorified. And I said, I tell you this fairly, fairly, that except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abided alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruits. That's the secret of multiplication. Except the corn of wheat fall, buried in the ground, died, and it seems as if the hope has gone. When you bury a seed of corn, you bury it in the morning, you can't go back in the evening, let me go and see how it's germinating. You are filled. The second day, it died. And the third day, it produced a shoot. A shoot will grow and become a blade. A shoot is like a needle. Then it comes up to be a blade. Gradually, it produces leaf. Then it begins to grow, to come up. And one of the secret things, I mean, things that is hidden from us, nobody knows how the plant grows. They just say, okay, this thing planted. I want to know the hour, the minute, the second is growing. You will watch in vain. Only when a man sleeps, it grows. When he wake up, he finds it. Ah, this thing is coming up. Do your own labor, and the growth will come. You will have growth in your way. Now, death by woman perspective appears to be the seal of failure. Death in the perspective of human being appears to be the seal of failure. When anything dies, what we think about is that Failure has set in. 
is no longer working, is no longer making progress, is no longer doing the way we expected it to be. We want life, 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 life. In our perspective as human beings, death is a seal of failure. John Maxwell wrote a book, Failing Forward. Failing Forward. One of my pastor friends gave me that book as one of the birthday gifts, Failing Forward. When I first checked Failing Forward, I said, ah, this man is celebrating failure. What does it, what does it mean? Then I got to know failure means first attempts in learning. F-A-I-L. First attempt, A attempt, F first, A attempt, I then in. Learning, L. Failure means first attempt in what? In learning. Another failure, failure means the beginning of another attempt to try again. Failure such that you have not known the right way to do it. Thomas Edison said, how do you do when you fail? When they ask him, he made Bob for 999 times. He wanted to put the fire inside glass. First attempt, second attempt, one day I, I researched through his work and I saw the man dejected, looking like as if he was dejected. Very tired in his laboratory. He was calculating, how else can I do it? They asked him, when you fail, how do you feel? He said, each time I fail, I said to myself, I have discovered another wrong way of making pop. <laughs> Each time I fail, I say I have discovered another wrong way of making pop. Failure is a way, but it's a wrong way. But it's telling you that you need to make an entire another way that can work. Failure is not an attempt to give up. But in human perspective, failure is an attempt to give up. In the kingdom perspective, death is the condition of success. In the kingdom perspective, death is a condition of success. When you pass through death in the kingdom, you are going to become alive afterward. Kingdom people should not see death as a, a very bad or miserable thing. Either physical death, either death for us to expand, is not something bad. It's a condition of success in life. Death appears to be an end, but it is also a beginning of another life. Death appears to be an end, but it is also a beginning of another life. May the Lord give us life. I saw a mystery in the Bible. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse one. The preacher said, cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. What does that suggest to us? Bread upon the water becomes what? Dissolved. Bread upon the water cannot come up like a loaf. But now, he said, your bread must be cast upon the water. He now said, he now said immediately. What did he say? After how many? 
many days, you will find it back. So what you see as a debt, what you see as a failure today, when you manage it well, it will become a great success tomorrow. Manage what you are passing through now. Manage the situation around you now. It will result to testimony tomorrow. The Lord spoke that it shall turn to you as a testimony. In Luke chapter 21, Verse 12, but before all this, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Verse 13, and he shall turn to you for a testimony. Luke 21, 12, and 13. And I said, if it will be a testimony, verse 14, settle it therefore in your heart not to meditate before what ye shall answer. Hallelujah. Say, it shall turn to you for a word, testimony, persecution, hardship, pain, trials, shall turn to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus. Death appears to be a humiliation and a curse. But his cleansing waters purge the soul of a travel strains. Death appears to be a humiliation it appears to be a curse, but the cleansing waters of death purges the soul of a travail, I mean travel strains. It purges us of our, our challenges. When death comes upon a case, God is bringing something new out of it. Even when a soul dies, when a man dies, buried, family man, people are crying, weeping. But the one that dies knew that he's free from challenges of the world. If he has done well, that's what we call resurrection. You bury a dead body, but the soul has disappeared to appear before the throne of grace. When your life passes through deadness, deadness and is in the spiritual form, is in the state of being transformed to life. What necessity of death for divine multiplication? Number one, death is the gate of life. Necessity of death for divine multiplication. Death is the what? The gate of life. Hallelujah. When the seed falls to the ground, it dies as a seed. And take a new life as a blade. Hallelujah. Unless seed dies, it can become a blade. So when a seed falls to the ground, it dies as a seed. But when it's coming up, it becomes a blade. Can you allow, can you just keep your seed and you are watching it in a glass, kept where there's no moisture, preserved, and you say, I, I want to, I don't want this seed to die, but I want to make an harvest in it tomorrow. My friend, it will remain the same for life. You can preserve a seed for 10 years, for more than that, until one day you subject it to death. 
You can preserve your body, your stomach. You shall not suffer hunger. Nothing will touch this stomach. I don't want to have pain in my body, my friend. You will remain the way you are for life. Until you subject your life to a little trial, challenge. You challenge. Situation that can challenge you, will stretch you, and make you to become strong. Your life will be challenged. In Mark chapter 4, verse 28. Mark 4, 28. For the earth bringeth forth fruits of herself. First, the blade, then the hair. After that, the full corn in the hair. Hallelujah. Look at verse 27. Okay, let me read verse 26. And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground. That's Mark 4 26. 27. And should sleep and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up. He knoweth not how. He plant his seed. He went to sleep. He did not know how the seed grew. And in that said in verse 28, for the head bringeth forth fruits of herself. It brings forth the blade, then the ears become like a small leaves. After that, the full grown corn in the ear. Verse 29. But when the fruit is brought forth, Immediately, he put it in the sickle because it is the harvest time. The harvest is come. For us to experience harvest in our spiritual work with God, we must pass through the stage of death. The stage of death, the stage of being crucified, with Christ. This text is number two. Death is the periodic experience of a fruitful life. Death is the periodic experience of a fruitful life. Paul said, I die daily. That's what he said, I want to die daily. Are you ready to die daily? What the Paul said, 1 Corinthians 15, 31, I die every day.